All right, so this video is going to show you guys how to make a shadow box for your still life setup. Um, what y'all are going to do for your still life is you're going to set up um, a section where you're going to have a surface that represents where your still life is going to be set up. And then you're going to have two areas that are the sides. So um, what you're going to be working with is a piece of white paper when you're drawing. So what I want is primarily your background to be white or um, neutral light, that sort of thing. And then your surface, um, it can have a color on it, but I would just originally, I just would set it up as being white. So I know y'all are thinking, what in the world? But anyway, so I've got a couple of my son's books from school. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you initially how to, hopefully y'all have some bigger books at your home. Um, they don't have to be textbooks. Um, and they don't have to be huge. If they're not big books, you can put a weight behind them. But anyway, what I'm showing you guys is a piece of poster board. It is folded in half um, either way. So you don't have to use poster board for this. What I'm doing, and um, I'm sure there's other ways to do this, but I split this book in half and I am covering half of the side and you can, hopefully you can see this, but I've got some tape. I don't know if this is gonna tape too well, but I guess I could tape it here, but I'm gonna tape either side and it's okay in the, you're, you're just taking a reference photo for this. It's okay in your reference photo for um, the tape to actually be showing. I mean, you want it to be relatively neat and, and all of that. Um, and you want it to, you know, if you can try to make your corners um, really nice and tight and neat, that would be really, really helpful for you. Um, just so when you're drawing this thing, you can see some definite, there's a corner if you're including a corner, which you probably will in your drawing. So I've got this, uh, this geometry book. It's just sort of sandwiched in here. And I may have to work to manipulate it just a little bit. And you might have to put a little tape in this corner to make that happen. But um, the only other thing that I'm gonna need is just this right here. And, and I can set up my still life and, and make it happen and, and all of those things if I, if I wanna, if I want to do that, um, I could do that. So, so anyway, uh, the next thing that I'm going to show y'all, let me just, <laughs> and you know, you could make this with, um, you know, a couple of books that are standing up like, like so, like that, and you could cover it like that and then stick a piece of paper that way. Um, you'd either have to have these slightly open to make these work if you want to do it that way. That could definitely work as well. Or you could put something behind it to hold it as well. So that's another option for you guys. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to show you is... Okay, so I got this little box right here. And so I did kind of something similar. I just taped um, this little surface. And poster board, it does work really well. But like I said, if you have typing paper, if you have any kind of tape or even a pen or, you know, anything like that, that would definitely work. So I just have a, another one. And I just taped one side. Like I said, you guys probably know other ways to do this. You can also wrap a box like uh, like you're wrapping a present and do it that way if you want to do something like that. Okay, so let me just show you guys how I actually do my still lives in class. So I do create a shadow box and I create it out of foam core. Um, so foam core is something some of you guys may uh, have some <laughs> either foam core or this is called presentation board. Some of you guys who have done like science fairs and things like that, you probably have seen this before. So um, what I am using on this is I'm actually using a push pin. It's a T pin. 
for this, you can use a T-pin or a push pin. Um, you can also use sewing needles or, you know, just regular needles here. That would work as well. Um, yeah, I've seen a variety of ways to hold these things together. So uh, anyway, so you start off with three. And um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna work to <laughs> put one side together. So um, what I'm doing essentially is I'm lining up my corners and I'm pushing my pin through um, one side here. And I'm pushing my pin through. You can do this with one person, but I will say it really helps to have a helper. I would recommend when you're when you're doing this, when you're putting these things together, um, I'd recommend doing three uh, needles going through. You can kind of see how how that's working right there. Um, the presentation board, if you buy like a big sheet, what you can do is uh, if you have a box cutter or exacto blade or something like that, you can um, crop it, you know, measure and crop it to whatever size that you want it to be. Um, uh, but I think I've seen them in craft stores already pre-cut. I could be wrong about that, but you may, you know, you may want to look at that. And one thing that I would encourage you to do with your still life, if at all possible with this stuff, um, because you're going to be taking several pictures of, uh, different types of fruit or vegetables, still lifes, I, you know, make sure that it's sturdy, whatever you do and um, that you could reuse whatever you set up over the span of days. Um, if you're very lucky, which I haven't been, <laughs> I took photos for this thing all day yesterday and I know y'all don't have a ton of time. This is during my spring break that I'm making this video, but it's probably going to take you a couple of days to take photos for this particular still life. I mean, it just is, weather may come into play, time comes into play, all those all those fun things. But anyway, if you're able to make a really super duper sturdy still life like this, um, you definitely, I think it would be very beneficial to you. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you got some ideas. You may have some ideas that I didn't have to setting up a uh, shadow box for a still life, but this is basically what you're gonna need to do. You're gonna need to have a bottom and you're gonna need to have a side and a side, just like an open book and a bottom that goes along with that. All right.